What's up, YouTube? This is Jazz, bringing you another episode of Let's Vlog Me Play Photo Right Ace Attorney. The last time we kind of got a little lost, but now I believe I know what I'm doing. So, we will move on in just a second. We have to go all the way back to where, uh, what's her name? Uh, see her in a second. Her name is... Yeah, whatever. Lada, that's right. Lada! Yeah? So, your camera, it triggers loud explosion noises. Yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right, now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera, didn't it get a picture of the murder, did it? Mm. Hey! You're pretty bright! Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken last night. I checked them once. Don't remember if there was anything on them, though. No. Oh, but what if I get something? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! She has a uh, energetic personality, Lotta does. I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? Sure we will. We have no choice. She went inside her SUV! I guess we should come back later. Yeah, let's come back later. Let's uh, go see if we can see old Mr. Detective here. Detective Gumshoe. Maybe by now he'll be back. Or wait, wasn't he already back? Oh, whatever. Can't remember. The life of me? Hmm. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Oh no, we didn't miss him. Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. Oh god. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Me too, Phonix boy. Let's ask him some questions. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, I still can't ID him. That's a shame. We need to know who this guy is. Has Mr. Edwards said anything? Not a word. Oh, boy. So how did the meeting go? No, how did it go? Tell us, pal! I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. Oh, well, that hurts. True. Hmm. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edward's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So, they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it. Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Oh, yeah, you're in trouble, pal. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Oh, he really likes Edgeworth. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Now, um, let's ask about the autopsy. Can we get the autopsy report? Detective Gumshoe? 
how come you- Oh, yeah, okay. Why do you trust him so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edward always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times. But there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. You work extra hard? We've got to earn that trust to keep places in us. You work hard? I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you may have my word on that. The okay, the autopsy report? I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Finally! Finally, is all I say. All that. Yeah, I made a coffee for you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Hmm. Wait. That face. Someone you know? I, I don't know. I just had this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Yeah, probably because in a way, you have. What else can we do here? Maybe leave? Go see if uh, Edward will talk to us? So I have no idea. Well, he won't talk to us, so, um... Where are we gonna go? Back there and see if Lana will say anything, or if she's found any court and pictures, whatnot. Oh! That looks like a gourd, in my opinion, that samurai dog. Oh, yep, we have something here. Hey, y'all! Lotta! Wait up a second, we got Bingo! Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. Wait! See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. That's nice to know, Lotta. But you know... See those photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Yeah, go ahead for it, Lotta. What was that? What's that? Uh-oh. Now, don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Oh shit, what have we done? Y'all have this photo. Later! Wait! Lotta! What? Can't y'all see I'm kinda busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey. But I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of the northbound skunk than tell you in a- Hey! What? Don't let it get your skajeebies in a bunch, friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone! Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Testifying. Hot darn! Well, that was a little stupid, wasn't it? Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? 
I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. All right, we have that picture. Let's go back. Wh what's going on here? Something is going on in this, light in this place now. Looks like the police have given up on their questioning. Hey! What the hell? Uh -huh! Nick, I think Santa's mad at you! Long time no see, Nick! Nick? You know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see that connect the connection. Oh, um, don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me! Larry? That guy? Larry Potts? What are you doing here? Is it obvious I'm working my day job? I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl Kiance deserves the best. Kiance? Kiance? Not another mom, I hope. Yeah, that's hope. Oh, Kiance is a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, You go, girlfriend, you know. Uh, aren't you a male? She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. What? Nick, who's she? She got your... Not my, what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, may I say. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? <sighs> wow, Nick, must be tough. Working 9 to 5 having to take care of a little sister. No, I'm not Nick's sister, I'm my older sister's little sister. Oh, that makes a lot more sense, Mia. Huh? Sounds great. Don't worry, Mia, he was not listening. Hey, or Mia. Let's ask him some questions, huh? Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. You work here. Have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was pro he was with Kiyonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. <sighs> oh. Oh. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just... Kiyonse's not in town right now. Well, why not? She's, she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. What? A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh? Neat. The defendant is Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick? You don't need that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy. Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Wow. Yeah. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh. Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like, guard dogs? Ha ha ha, Larry. That doesn't make any sense. At all. Ouch. The Sandra thing was Kiyase's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. Again, you're a boy. She made me the ban that banner. Uh, nice. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Ooh. Something about that just seems wrong. Uh, how? Oh, and guess what? 
We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What's with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy! Gordy? Yeah, anyway. Um, you think something's wrong? So Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, Kim, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Yeah, we never told you. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy Pop was a famous Edgy Pop famous defense well. Wow wait. You said defense lawyer. Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? And just got a prosposis on his knee? Uh, what? No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Mm, huh? Go figure. He's always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about a man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what's changed his mind, though. Do you know, Nick? Hmm? Nick? No. Um, what's Gordy? Uh, you could be, you don't know, yeah, the Lock's next monster. Anyway, what I was saying is the way Nia was going on about something's wrong about the samurai dogs, it's not as bad as Pokemon in their references, yeah. Check it out. That's an article from yesterday's paper. There's a photo. Wow, it's really real. Sorry for not reading it before. Oops. Nick, a monster! A real monster! Um, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? What's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got in the frame, what happened? I heard a loud bang like an explosion! Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water, which is probably the victim. Or the gun, one of the two. I wish I could have seen it! And she wasn't paying attention, why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem! That'll be one million dollars! What? One billion? Grow up, Larry! Yeah, grow up, Larry! Yeah, I may just only read the important parts now, because when you think about it, I need to have time to talk otherwise. From the dialogue. Because that's like, I'm just reading the game otherwise. What's this? You know my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Dick. Oh, yeah, because it's blurry. Now you... Yeah, I'll show the picture of the, uh... Guy shooting the... The other guy? Hey, Larry, do you know this guy? Who's this? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Bea? Well, uh... Oh, wait. Bea said she had seen him before, didn't she? Yeah. As I said, I'm trying to only read what's important. Alright. Wait, why are we here? Oh wait, yeah, we were leaving. Nope, he's still not going to take us. Alright. Let's go back here. Okay, December 25th, Police Department. Criminal Affairs. Huh? Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently, an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. Aw, oh, shoot. A lot of hurt, it has to be. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's go back. Either to... Yeah, let's go to the detention center. I think. Nope. Not there. So let's go back to our station, our offices. Oh, finally. What is it? 
Oh! Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Hmm. Can, I, can you show me that autopsy report once more? Hmm. Hey! I remember now! This guy! This is a lawyer that was at the office me at work that. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait! You be Grossberg's office! Right, that guy, that old man. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him for all time's sake. Oh, we have to talk to, like, Drosberg boy? We was in a case or two ago we last saw him. Ahem! <laughs> ah, that old familiar cleared of the throat. Aha, you're me as something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes, Phonix, right? Aha, and you're me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes! You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. And you know that? You didn't even know who she was. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Oh, boy. I know this is so important, but it's funny. Yeah. I was getting a picture there. Um, Mr. Crossberg, sir. Um... Ah, uh, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. Oh, so sad you look. What is it, then? Something the matter? Yeah, let's just say it. Let's tell him what's the matter. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard. I heard. Just got up, you see. Really? Um, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Oh boy. Who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible. News indeed. I think we should. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Let's show him the picture then. Mr. Grosberg, whatever ha Oh, what happened to the- Yeah, okay, let's ask about the unimportant Kate. Of course I got curious. Back home to this office. What? Why? Oh, true. I suppose it's by just desserts. Old bitter desserts. Now let's show the picture. Or something or another? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hmm, strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Hmm. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Well. Mr. Hammond. And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot. Yeah, what do you have? Oh, so this is the moment the crime took place. Yeah, we're gonna show this, yes. You can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. Alright, now let's ask about Robert Hammond. Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond? He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DLC 6 incident. Wait, we've heard this before, didn't we? Familiar. Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so... were so lost they used the spirit medium. <laughs> well... Wait, you don't need... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Mr. Misty Fay, with your mother contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DLC incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. 
They never caught the criminal, right? Oh, cracked. Mr. Her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being made against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. Oh boy. Hmm. And the police blamed my mother calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grosberg? Or Grosenberg. Or Grosberg. Er, yes. Yes, quite. Thank you. No. Please. Don't mention it. Um, DLC 6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait! What does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, we're about to hear something. It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. That victim in the DLC incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? <sighs> if you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. That's the picture of Miss Fang. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Ah, eventually we'd see that old photo again. Great. Now, now we can talk to Edward. Edward, finally. Let's go to the detention center. And here we are. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? Mm. Oh. It's no concern of yours. Yes, he hasn't found anyone yet. Let's show him the picture. That's the only way we can get any further. Yeah, we can try all our want, but we have to get the picture. <laughs> Edgeworth. It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DLC 6 incident, right, DLC 6, or DL6, I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if I, it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. Well, I just wanted to keep you away from the L6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will... Yeah, he'll answer to his best ability, this is what he's saying. Let's ask him some questions. The DLC 6 incident was when my father died. Wow. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested, a man. Okay. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Um, the spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You be your... Hmm. It's strange. I thought the terrible incident was about to end and now this. 
about to end? DLC 6 or DL is it happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The Statue of Limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case Statue of Limitations runs out legally, the case never happens. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. I'd, it'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so, was well, your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. Oh, oh dear. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, he's sad. <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you did shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Mm. Right. Huh? It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you. Yes, will you? No, okay. Uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? Well, he's just as confused. For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request, please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Let's go see Detective Gumshoe! What? What's that? What? Is Earthquake! Yeah. It's a big one! What? It's coming down! Ooh, that was scary! Huh? Where's Edgeworth? Huh? Here! He's on the floor in a ball shivering! Oh, that's pathetic. I guess he doesn't do too well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curl it up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up any time soon. Let's go with it. Uh, right. We have to give Edward's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, as you know, Edward is afraid of earthquakes. I think that happened on the day his father was murdered, I believe. That's just what I've heard. Anyway. What's going on here? Eee! What's wrong, Detective? This wall lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she comes to talk about y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? Lotta heard. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want the death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Err. You're trying to say something about the way I do my job, yeah, little? No, sir. Well, you disagree with me. Let's show the request, girl. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal! Now you forgive me? Glad I waited for the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal.
I don't that smile. Hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to that by now. Oh, what's worried about you two? Hey! I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, I see. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that I mentioned it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later! Uh, I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I was only in the same class with him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Well guys, I believe this is the end. In the next episode, we are going to the trial of Edgeworth, number one. I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Photo Trade Ace Attorney. I'll see you next time.